Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you that when you make different choices, when you change from within, others that are familiar with the former version of you won't recognize you. So much so that this can breed frustration. This could breed a, a disconnect in your communication, overall perception of each other. And that's okay. It's natural. You will have some that refuse to see the change that you have made for yourself. They refuse to acknowledge that you have made different choices that have led to different outcomes. And they don't have space in their perspective to see this different version of you. Many times I've seen that it's not, it's not a purposeful, uh, how can I say? It's not a purposeful resistance on their part. They just don't see what you see. They don't have a desire to see what you see. That's okay. However, since you've made different choices for yourself, it is upon you to nurse those choices. It is upon you to make your own peace with the outcome of the different choices. It's not to be accepted by the outside world. It's about connecting more with the choices that resonate with the version of you that you see for yourself. Now that's purely up to you. There will be times that we question the choices that we made and that's okay. It simply comes down to trusting in ourselves building upon that trust within ourselves, exploring the perspectives that we hold near and dear, the beliefs, the ideas, and being okay with the change that we see within ourselves and expressing that change. There will be people, circumstances, what have you, that would challenge the choices that you make. And sometimes it can be frustrating. But we take those moments to see our choices being reaffirmed in the resistance of these uh, external environments, people, what have you. But we also understand that that resistance came because the change came within oneself. It's a beautiful thing. You take it moment by moment. Allow yourself grace. And be thankful for being able to maneuver in a way that's healthy for yourself. That's the bit that need. There will be some times when you are faced with old relationships, friendships, uh, old co-workers, whatever the case, things from your past and your journey that you've moved beyond. And they will, for lack of better terms, attempt to trick you. By trick you, I mean they will acknowledge the version of you that they've known and accepted. And they will address you as such. So much so that any response that you give, it will not satisfy them. They will simply want to continue to place you in that old version of yourself until they're satisfied that you have not changed. 
knowing that this does happen time and time again along the journey. You learn to not react or respond from a place of frustration. Sometimes you just don't engage. Simply provide nothing to the situation and circumstance. You walk away. Someone would say you quit. <laughs> it is not just with jobs, it's with people too. Now, along my journey, quitting, the word quit has a negative connotation to it. It's just along my journey. You may not feel the same. But I don't believe it's necessarily a bad thing. I believe it suggests that the level of frustration has gotten to a point where you just say the hell with it. You sever ties. That's it. And I believe it's beautiful because it allows yourself to drop the dead weight. It allows yourself to be free of what was once a burden. And as uh, harsh as it may sound, sometimes those things that we used to love, those people that we used to love, those people that we used to respect, they simply turn to dead weight. Because there's no room in those situations and circumstances for you to express who you are, to be who you are. So you must quit. You must remove yourself. You must not engage or entertain what once was okay. That's fine. You'll do it time and time again. But over time, you find more peace with that. You understand that you are stepping more and more into your inner authority. And you're operating from that light within. Because you're not doing, you're not making your choices to do something to the outside world. You're making your choices to enrich your inner world. You're doing it for you, not against others. It's a very big difference. And that difference comes down to intent. Now, others may say they have your best intentions in mind, but do they? Can they really have your best intentions and their intentions at the same, hold the same weight? No. There has to be an imbalance at some point. And I will hope, just as I do for myself, that others put their intentions first. But in, do, in doing so, it's solely their responsibility, not anyone else's. So as you make choices for yourself and give yourself grace and remove the judgment that may come along with making choices for self, remind yourself not to put pressure on others to affirm or go along with your change of choice. Your change is for you. It's not for them. And sometimes, sometimes we can forget that. No judgment here. Remind yourself Give yourself grace, give others grace, and move forward. But more importantly, trust yourself. Trust that even if you've taken on certain perspectives that allow you to see your journey in a new light, that your new perspective may not be designed for others. It truthfully is, and it's simply designed for you and others in their own shape, form, or fashion will do the same. Environments will do the same. Cultures will do the same. That's life. No one gets out of it alive. <laughs> so while we're here, being able to understand that, that aspect of this reality, it lets us move a little more unapologetically 
from a loving place. And the more you do so for yourself, it's easier to share that with others, even if they don't see it that way. It's easier to reflect someone in the, in the best light possible when you think about them or when you see them in a tough situation. It doesn't mean you have to go out into the physical world and attempt to save or change or help. No, no. The same way you're building that trust with yourself and you're embracing your inner world and you're loving your true divine nature. Send that love to others. But you don't have to do it in a physical world so you can keep receipts. There's no point. Trust in yourself. Move forward in that inner light that is your divine God. And know that everything's going to be all right. Until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget to smile.